Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxis 3D Shallow Foundation course from Theory to Practice. This is lesson 52. In this example, we are going to simulate a shallow foundation on weak soil, improve it with jet grouting using Plaxis 3D. So before we start modeling uh, this simulation in Plaxis, we are going to shortly talk about the jet grouting uh, improving, improving uh, method. So as we know, the jet grouting is one of the soil improving or, or uh, soil stabilization method used to improve uh, weak soil like uh, uh, loose sandy soil or soft uh, uh, clay. And in this uh, method, there are a special machine uh, for uh, doing this uh, task and generally uh, the uh, the cement ciliary is injected into a soil at a very high velocity so uh, this makes a soil like a soil concrete matrix so and improves the shear uh, strength properties of the soil as we can see in uh, this uh, figure uh, the procedure of uh, or the steps of this kind of uh, soil improvement uh, is uh, explained or illustrated in uh, this figure as we can see the uh, it is done by drilling so after uh, the soil is uh, drilled uh, to the desired depth to be improved after that the uh, ciliary uh, cement or cement ciliary is injected into the soil and uh, the drilling is withdrawn slowly so uh, it becomes like a concrete uh, and uh, make it like uh, a soil or concrete matrix and uh, the properties uh, shear uh, strength properties and unit weight of uh, this uh, mixture is uh, much higher than the uh, just pure soil uh, also uh, the this uh, kind of improvement is uh, depends on uh, many factors like uh, the type of the soil for example it depends on uh, the erodibility of a soil for example it is more effective in a gravel soil and clean sand because it is uh, highly erodible and uh, less effective in uh, high plastic uh, clay because it is difficult to erode so as we can see, uh, these are some examples of uh, jet grafting. As we can see, uh, uh, there are two columns of jet grafting after finishing. It almost seems like a very hard material, like a concrete. And also, uh, this is an example uh, which is an e experimental actually jet grafting columns and has been done for uh, research purposes as we can see in here some uh, samples core samples have been taken to measure the uh, strength of uh, this material or this jet grafting in a laboratory so our example is uh, going to be like this one we have a mud foundation resting on a uh, loose uh, sand improved with the jet grouting the mud foundation dimension is uh, 13 meters by 13 which is a square and also we have a number of the jet groutings and the diameter of the jet grouting column is one meter also the center to center spacing between two uh, jet grouting columns is two meters and uh, the length of the jet grouting columns is 10 meters also we have two soil layers which is one of them which is uh, a loose uh, sandy soil underlain by uh, stiff clay the height of the weak soil is 9 meters also 9 meters also the height of the stiff clay is 20 meters and we will apply uh, a surface law to this foundation so uh, to decrease the calculation uh, time of uh, this example we will only uh, use or model one quarter of uh, the model of the problem uh, and we have done for uh, many other uh, problems in this course so we will just model uh, this part of the problem 
so uh, it will be like uh, this one you will only model nine uh, jet uh, grouting columns instead of all uh, this number of jet grouting columns also we will, uh, also the youngest modulus of jet grout column uh, can be predicted or estimated from a combination of unconfined compression strength the volumetric content of cement also age of the mixture and the type of uh, the soil and also the properties of the soil uh, general the elastic modulus is uh, even more variable than the uh, strength of jet grouting column but in general the ratio of the modulus to strength uh, can increase can be increased with uh, strength from uh, 300 to over 1000 uh, so for the same value of unconfined compress compression strength of the jet grouting the elastic modulus can uh, vary by a factor of 2 to uh, 3 uh, also you can see uh, this figure it can be estimated from uh, this uh, figure this chart which is I uh, taken from uh, this uh, ground improvement book which is, uh, it is a relationship between unconfined compressive uh, strength also uh, elastic or second modulus of elasticity of jet grouting so I click on calculate so it also may uh, take some time to uh, finish the calculation because we have uh, some uh, structural elements which are uh, jet grouting columns uh, inside the soil body. So we will wait until the calculation is uh, finished.
okay the calculation is uh, finished so we save the project again and uh, we don't have any error or mistakes so we can uh, see the calculation results now so I click on uh, view calculation results So this is the initial phase. We don't have any deformation because we don't have any structure or loading in this phase. So if you want to check the settlement or displacement in unimproved soil, so I select the unimproved soil phase, we can see this is a deformed shape of the soil. So if I hide the surface load, we can see how the soil is in pro uh, soil uh, deformed and also the maximum uh, settlement is about uh, 0 0.32 meters which is 32 centimeters also if i want to check the deformation after improving the soil with the jet grouting column so i select jet grouting improved column improved soil we can see the displacement or the settlement of the soil is uh, highly improved which is only about uh, 4.5 uh, centimeters so this example uh, shows us how the uh, improving the soil with the jet grouting can improve uh, the soil or the soil uh, settlement and uh, soil uh, deformation also we can uh, check the displacement contours we can see in here how the displacement is we can draw the load displacement curve so we click on curve manager and new and in x direction we have the m stage in y direction we have the displacement in z okay So for first I will deactivate the displacement from uh, the initial and jet grafting improve the soil and uh, this is for an improved soil again I will add a load displacement curve for improved soil so right click on the curve and I will just activate the jet grouting improved soil data and this is improved soil so we can see how the stiffness and displacement how the stiffness of the soil is increased also the displacement or settlement of uh, the soil is uh, decreased very much uh, also, uh, this was for uh, this example, uh, you can change very parameters, for example, uh, the center to center of the jet grouting, you can change, also you can uh, increase or decrease the length of the jet grouting uh, columns and compare the results. So uh, this was uh, for uh, this example, I hope it was clear and uh, thank you for watching see you in the next uh, lesson with a new topic